The next thing that I want to touch on very briefly is possibilities for the elasticity of your demand for a resource. There are a couple of things that can have an impact here. Remember that elasticity refers to how responsive demand is to a change in price. If it's very responsive, you get a curve that is flatter. If it is not very responsive, you get a curve that is steeper, more elastic, and more inelastic. So what can have an impact on what type of shape the curve has? The first thing is going to be how substitutable, a great word, the resources are. Ease or degree of substitute ability. In other words, how easy is it to substitute one resource for another? If it's a resource that has no substitutes, then you would expect demand to be more inelastic because they're not going to be that responsive to a change in price. If it's something that they have to use, then they have to use it. Hold up a second. Are you sure that's right? I would have thought there was an, it was an I-B-I-L. Nope, that's right. Okay. I'll cut out me questioning your spelling. So that's the first thing. If it's a resource that has no substitutes, And it should be more inelastic or closer to vertical. If it has lots of substitutes, you know, looking at the opposite also being true, more substitutes, flat. So that's the first thing. The next thing, and this one you probably would have guessed, it depends on the elasticity of the product demand. If demand for the product is very elastic, you would expect demand for the resource to be more elastic. And the opposite would also be true there. So those two things are the biggies in terms of what shape you would expect your resource demand curve to have. Now remember, in terms of what the market is going to look like, now this is backwards from everything that you've done so far in terms of who the buyers and sellers are. If we're talking, for example, about a labor market, price, quantity, the price is the wage. The quantity is the amount of labor that people are willing to provide to potential employers. So that when you're talking about demand for labor, the demand is by the firm. And the supply is going to be the household. So this is going to be the opposite of the way we've done all the other markets.
supply by the household, demand by the firm. If you can keep that part straight, it's going to be so much easier for you to deal with any conceptual questions that you're going to have to answer. Okay. 